In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your SD card for your 3DS or 2DS. And this works whether it's a micro SD card or a regular SD card. But I'm going to show you how to switch over and upgrade to a larger SD card without losing any of your downloads or your custom firmware. Let's do it. So let's go to system settings and I'll show you um, my current SD card is 4 gigabytes, which is pretty small. It's the, it's the one that originally came with the 2DS. So go to data management, Nintendo 3DS, software, and you'll see micro SD card, there's only 18,000 open blocks. So we are going to upgrade it to a 64 gigabyte. That's a lot more than uh, four gigabytes. So we can turn our 3DS off take out the SD card or micro SD card and we're gonna plug in the smaller one that we were just using into the computer I use this uh, Ugreen adapter USB adapter where you can just plug it into your computer like that linked in the description but I'll meet you over on the computer so we're over on the computer and this is the SD card that I was using this is everything on my 3ds and what we're gonna do Right beside my 3DS NAND backup, I'm just going to create a new folder, call it 3DS SD card, highlight everything, and drag it in. And that's transferred over, so we can close this one. You can wipe it if you want, you don't need it anymore, because in our 3DS SD card folder we have the exact same thing. So close the original micro SD card and unplug it for, from your computer. And go ahead and plug the larger SD card that you want to use. We don't need that anymore. And grab the brand new one, the upgraded one. Plug it into your computer. Now if we right click on the drive and click properties, we will notice that it's XFAT. This won't work for the 3DS. We need to make it FAT32. So if you don't know how to do that, uh, click the link down below and we're gonna go download a program that allows us to format 64 gigabyte and above USB or SD cards to FAT32 So once you click the link it should take you here Just click on this picture and it should download the exe file Click on GU format exe and it should begin the program and it should look like this double check that you have the proper drive selected as you can see C and D are my hard drives do not click the hard drives on here you do not want to wipe out your entire computer storage that would be a very bad day so my SD card is F so make sure you have the proper one as you can see it's XFAT 63 gig and then just press start it says do you really want to lose format drive F all data will be lost press OK and if you get this error message don't worry just press OK and close the SD card file we have right here and try again all data will be lost and if you keep getting that error message even if you close the micro SD card page just restart your computer and run the program again and try it from there again double check drive F press start do you really want to format drive F all data will be lost press OK and there we go it's now fat 32 so you can close out of this program go into your computer files and open up the SD card right click go to properties it is now fat32 that's what we need and it'll now work on our 3ds so once you have that done open up the 3ds SD card that we transferred on highlight everything and just transfer it on to the new one and once it's transferred on it should look exactly the same as the original SD card that we uh, took out of our 3ds and now it is ready to eject and throw into our 3ds and we should see that everything is there still I'll meet you over there so you can go ahead and plug in the newer oops the newer SD card into your 3ds start it up and as you can see all of my games are still here the uh, homebrew apps everything is still there let's see if our storage has been upgraded so go to your system settings back into data management, Nintendo 3DS, software, 
and we should see it is now upgraded. Now there's 40 or 476,000 open blocks compared to what was it, the 18,000 before? So big upgrade, and now you can store as many games as you want. Well, not quite as many as you want, but a lot. But anyways, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you're interested in more 3DS tutorials, uh, subscribe and keep an eye out for those. They will be coming out in the future. But if this video helped you upgrade to a larger SD card, make sure to give it a like, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.